right now, we're working in a frame of a uh, new laboratory, initially named Extreme Biology. So it's been done with the support of Kazan University and several Japanese institutions. So what we do is study the special organisms that can tolerate excess of biotic stresses, they can survive excessive dose of radiation with space environment and so on. So from the genomic approach, we try to see uh, how they can do it, what is the genomic background before that and so on. So from this year, so the approaches we use for that topic are going to be expanded to the field of biomedicine. So the university took a move to this, um, uh, establishing the strategic academic units where we are going to focus on translational medicine and thanks to the excellent uh, hardware we got, especially in the field of genomics, in a partnership with the several Japanese universities, including Rikem, we are moving forward to more applied and functional genomics. So we're asking questions how ethnic differences can affect sensitivity to drugs. So one of our uh, initiative here is to make a screening through the Russia to see uh, what would be the proper way to establish gene diagnostic associated with the drug response. And another big move is working with um, uh, oncology, thanks to a good partnership with the Tatarstan Cancer Center. Using Japanese technologies, we try to find new biomarker for non-invasive detections of uh, sensitivity to different drugs. And the, um, maybe third big direction, uh, the trace from space biology, is related to the questions as how our muscle under disuse or ultra gravity uh, are suffered from atrophy and what mechanisms or gene regulation beyond that and how we can affect that. So those main directions, so our team comprised by 20 young researchers and we have a constant flow of the Japanese and United States researchers coming here and coming back there and we are sending young researchers there and so this is a way how we proceed.